Hi, in today's video I am going to explain quick sort in details and I will also demonstrate a few C programs to show you how quick sort works and the steps involved in sorting the arrays. So let's get into the details. Okay, quick sort is an efficient algorithm based on divide and conquer rule. It was developed in 1959. This algorithm is still commonly used for different sorting purposes. It works by selecting a pivot element and partitioning the other elements into two, two sub arrays and recursively sorting them based on the pivot element. There are three steps involved in quick sort. First one is picking an element which is called a pivot from the array. Normally there are various ways of picking the pivot element, at least four I'm aware of. And Second one is partition operation. The partition operation reorders the array so that elements with the values less than the pivot come to the left side of the pivot in the array. And any elements with the value greater than the pivot value, then they come to the right side of the pivot. And finally, recursive operation is applied on, on the above two steps. That is, the both the sub-arrays and elements are sorted in those sub-arrays. As discussed before, pivot can be picked up in four different possible ways. One of them is picking the first element as the pivot. This method was used in the earliest versions of the quick sort. Number two, picking the last element as the pivot, which is also called Lomuto partition. And number three, any random element from the array can be picked up as, as a pivot element. And number four, picking the median of the first element, the middle element, and the last element, and choosing the median of all three values, and choosing that number as the pivot. This this method is also called median of the three. Let's look at the pseudocode of the quicksort algorithm. This pseudocode basically has two subroutines. One is the quicksort uh, routine itself, and the other one is the partition subroutine. So. The, the quick sort uh, subroutine takes input in the form of an array and the lower bound of the array and the upper bound of the array. And then it calls the partition method and then performs the recursive operation on the sub arrays to sort them. So first of all, let's look at the partition subroutine. This partition subroutine takes the input as an array and lower bound and the upper bound and then picks up the pivot element as the uh, last element from the array. As we, we discussed, there are four different uh, possible ways to pick up the pivot. One of them is picking the pivot as the last element. Okay. Then it loops through all the elements of the array and compares each element with, with the pivot. If the element is less than the pivot, then swap the elements and move the element to the left of the pivot. If the element is greater, then those elements are swept to the right of the pivot. And finally, it returns the pivot element back to the quicksort routine. And quicksort routine passes on this pivot element recursively to itself so that the left hand side of the pivot and right hand side of the pivot, there are, there are two sub arrays. Both those sub arrays are sorted recursively again uh, pick, pick, by picking up the pivot element. Finally, let's look at the implementation of quicksort algorithm using these four possible ways of choosing the pivot element and then sorting the array. Okay, I will be demonstrating this quicksort algorithm using Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 with C++ installed. So we have a Visual Studio Community Edition with Visual C++ 2017 installed. Uh, there are two parts of this demonstration. One is a simple sorting of the algorithm using different pivoting techniques. And then I, I will demonstrate uh, the same algorithm but with some debugging done so that you can see the steps involved in the quick sort uh, process. Okay, first of all, let's uh, quickly look at the C program of quick sort. So we have a main method which calls the quick sort algorithm or quick sort method. And here in quick sort method, we have 
calls to different partition methods based on different pivoting techniques for example using the first element as a pivot lost element as a pivot random element as a pivot and the median element of the pivot and as i show you in the pseudo code then we we call those we, we call the sort method recursively uh, with, with the pivot element and recursively sorting the sub arrays that is the left hand side of the pivot and the right hand side of the pivot okay so first of all let, let's look at the uh, pivot first uh, partition method so pivot first partition method it takes the input as an array and then the lower bound and the upper bound and takes the uh, lower bound as the pivot element because it's the first element in the array and then it goes through all the elements and check whether whether the element is greater than the pivot if it is so then swap them so that it is moved to the right of the pivot and then swap them again and return the pivot back to the main method and this pivot is used uh, to call recursively the quick sort method let's run this program and see how it works okay so you can see uh, th th this was the initial array and the second one is the sorted array using the first element as the pivot let's quickly change it to using the last element as the pivot and then see how it works so choosing the last element as the pivot is similar to choosing the first element except that we choose the pivot as the last element and then based on that element we, we compare all the elements of the array to see whether they are greater or less if they're less then move them to the left hand uh, side of the pivot and if they're greater then move them to the right hand side of the pivot so let's run it okay, so you can see the similar output which was in the uh, previous run okay now we have uh, two more uh, pivoting mm, choosing the pivot element techniques one is the random choosing the random element so in in random uh, we, we we can put any any randomization technique so we are using the rand method of uh, standard library which is already available in c++ implementation so we use that element and uh, to choose the pivot and then use the uh, partition method of choosing the last element from the pivot as the pivot and then uh, running the quick sort so let's run it okay we have the similar output and finally we can choose the pivot element as the median of the first last and the middle element and this method here you can see what we do is so what we do here is in the median we, we take the median of the first and last and the middle element of the array and return that as a pivot and finally we use the pivoting last uh, last element as a pivot element and then sort the array so let's run and see the output Okay, so it's similar as well okay in the second uh, project i will show you what are the steps involved when we we run this uh, quick sort algorithm recursively so i will choose this project as the default startup project so that it runs and close it down okay so basically this is the same method uh, same program as I showed you before, except that I added some uh, different uh, outputting technique to to uh, show the steps involved in each uh, iteration of the arrays. Okay, so let's quickly run this using this partition first uh, pivoting technique and see what happens. Using the pivot last this one okay so let's run and see the steps okay now you can see that the steps are highlighted that what are the steps were taken uh, to to sort this array so I'll click quickly explain here step 0 means the very first step 
okay lower bound and the upper bound and the run run zero means this code was run for the first time that is calling from the main method of the quick uh, sort uh, algorithm so so run one calls this partition last method okay here and goes through the array and checking and comparing the elements of the last uh, which is the pivot element and and moving all the elements on the left side of the pivot uh, which are less moving them to the left hand side and all the elements which are greater to the pivot move them to the right hand side for example you can see here 5 is the last element 5 is compared with the rest of the array 5 is compared with the 1 and no swapping occurs with compare 5 is compared with 3 no swapping occurs with 2 with 4 and lastly 5 is compared with 6 and 6 is greater so 5 and 6 are swept so 5 is here in the center okay then <coughs> we, we have the pivot element 5 and this element is used to input uh, to the quick sort method here recursively so here in, in the next few lines you can see the run 1 and run 2 it means run 1 is quick sort first and then run 2 is quick sort and this second method so first one is called using uh, here in the step 1 so you can see all the elements uh, less than 5 they, they are checked and they are sorted out for example you can see here 1 is compared with 4 then 3 is compared with 4 then 2 is compared with 4 and finally 2 is compared with 4 and if there are any uh, occurrences then they are, they are swept finally 4 is compared with 4 they, they are equal so they, they are uh, just swept okay and here on the this one is for the quick sort second side or you can see the right side of the array so here on the right hand side what happens is 5 is compared with 8 5 is compared with 5 is the pivot and then it is compared with uh, rest of them so 8 is compared with 6 so it is greater so 6 and 8 are swept then it runs the second time so in you can see in the run 2 the left hand side array is again uh, traversed and compared all the elements with it and then they, their positions are swept accordingly and then in the run to here for the second uh, half of the array on the right hand side there all the elements are compared and swept when we are necessary for example you can see here eight and nine are swept and finally uh, we, we get the sorted array so this method was using the pivot as the last element we, we can also demonstrate the similar using the pivot as a random element or using the pivot as a median element okay now i will show you uh, pivoting pivot using the first element of the array okay now in, in this program you can see the first element of the array is chosen as the pivot in the run zero and then first and last element are compared and then in each run L array is traversed from the left to right and then uh, with, with each run the pivot element keeps on increasing so in the first one it was one and then it was three then it was four then it was six then seven and then nine and you, you you can see the details here on the highlighted in the yellow also you can see it, it took more steps than the previous one using the pivot as the last element there were only two runs or three runs but here you can see there were five different uh, runs before the the array was sorted so you, you can clearly see uh, a difference um, between the number of runs okay now let, let's see 
how the picking the pivot element as the random element and see how it go how it works okay now you can see a random element from the array is picked up as a pivot point and then the the array is divided based on their random element into two sub arrays and all the elements were sorted out now you can see on the left side one three two four and five they were picked up as the pivot elements you can see these steps okay finally let's see how it works when we choose the median element as the pivot okay and now here you can see it choose the central element or the middle element of the array as the as the pivot point and then it divided the array into two sub arrays one is on the left side and one is on the right side and sorted it uh, on both the arrays on both sides of the pivot element Okay, hope you are clear with the way how quick sort works uh, by looking at the demonstration I gave you. And finally, there are uh, multiple variants of the quick sort algorithm because this is being most commonly used for different purposes in computer science. So I will just give you a brief overview of these uh, different variants. First of all is multi pivot or multi quick sort. This method partition the input variable number of pivots and sub arrays so instead of choosing one pivot and one, uh, two sub arrays the array can be divided into multiple pivots and multiple sub arrays second is external quick sort this is kind of three way quick sort in which the mid middle partition or buffer represents a sorted sub array of the elements number three is the three way radix quick sort this algorithm is a combination of radix sorts and quick sort quick radix sort this is again a combination of radix sort and quick sort with some minor modifications uh, another one is block quick sort this is this algorithm performs partition by dividing the input into constant sized blocks and finally partial or incremental quick sort it only sorts limited number of smallest or the largest elements for example top 10 elements or lowest five elements etc this partial or incremental quick sort is already implemented in C++ as a base library. Okay, this brings us to the end of this video. Let me know in the comments below if you like this or if you have any feedback on the video. Thank you.